Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I am here in Henderson, Kentucky at Finders Keeper Vendor Outlet Mall. I think it's the first time I've been here, but we're gonna head inside and see what we can find. Let's go. I've been kind of battling a little bit of a headache today. Uh, the sun, I've been driving a lot, so there's that. All right, so I found this little bowl here for $12, and it is footed with these, I think there's, well, I thought, they, I thought they were fish, but maybe they're just like tree trunks or something. But um, I've sold this bowl before, and it has the butterflies in it. This one's in a clear and opal white, which is really cool, for $12. And then they're also doing 20% off. So I already looked in the rest of their booth, and I don't see anything else that I'd like to get. Um, and we're actually already halfway through the mall. I've done a lot of walking um, pretty briskly because there's a lot of booths that are new stuff and um, crafts and yard sale items, clothing, kind of boutique-y stuff. What are these? Oh, wow. Huh. That's interesting. This is an entire booth of flowers, like flower arrangements. This one is toys. So yeah, it's kind of like, I don't buy toys. Not new ones like that either. And then this is more toys. This is furs. Looks like furs and other leather. Well, this booth is actually 50% off and there is a Royal Copley planter here, which is pretty cool because it's only $4, which makes it $2. So that's actually a really good price for this. And it it still has its little sticker. I looked it over pretty carefully to make sure there was no cracks in it, although there is some crazing. That's pretty normal for some of this older pottery, but Royal Copley, mid-century, so I'm gonna get that. We'll put that in here. So far, there have been some pretty good deals. There's a lot of booths that look kind of like this where there's barely anything in them, and I'm just wondering, well, the rent must be pretty low because I don't understand the mar you know, the cost margins on some of these. Oh wow, look at all this. All right, here we are at the second Finders Keepers, and we're gonna see if this one is any better than the last, and see what we can do. I don't think I've ever been to this one before. Get a cart right off and hopefully do well. I've sold this exact set before. $25 batter pancake set. That is so cool. It's Napco Air. I haven't seen these very often. They're so cool. All right, let's keep looking. 50% off everything. That's a cool vase. It'd be, um, it'd be, uh, whatever, half of 18, nine, <laughs> my mind. You know what? Just like the other Finder's Keeper, I wonder if this is Royal Copley. Oh, there's a crack down the side of it. You can't see it on the outside, but on the inside it's there. That is really pretty for $9. Happy folks. Weaving loom. Okay. Let's see. I'll just pick a row. How about this one? I'll hit all the rows. I'm just gonna go at them a little bit differently. Okay, look at this. We've got some Fenton boots. This is like a little pink one. $8 for the shoe. That's really not bad. Oh, and this red one. That's pretty. I'm gonna get the red one. And this tall one here is pretty too. That one's 10. I'm gonna get this one. I'll refrain from the amber. The amber, you can see, you find the amber a lot more readily, even the white and clear. That almost looks like it um, like has magnesium in it from the sun. Maybe not that one, but this pink one, unless they just did a really light pink shoe. I'm gonna get this one though. Yeah, the finders keepers, they're pretty much just, um, well, what would you call it? Oh, a mixture of stuff. I'm trying to come up with a word. Eight dollars. 
Are the moon and star, oh, okay. The lid, these are so often messed up, the lids. They put tape around it to help it out, but that's the moon and star. And they made them in amber, um, red, blue, um, amberina, green. Let's keep looking, 25% off. Well, that's a pretty vase, actually. It has the Moriagi on it. Um, it's missing a lid and there's a giant crack on it. That's really pretty colors though. Very good. More clothes, lotion, guitars. You know, I'm gonna be back whenever I find some. Oh, there's a Hazel Atlas crinoline. I noticed this plate over here, just a single. Oh, and it's very, really faded. That's the crinoline. These are hard to find to a Hazel Atlas. With the H and the A on the underside of it for $5. That's a popular pattern. This booth is 50% off. They mostly have DVDs, but I also see some things over here, like this Asian purse. Oh, is that arm broken off? Yes. Oh, that would have been so cool. That would have been a dollar. The arm is broken off. You can see it on the back more so. Well, that stinks. Oh, this cat. That's kind of cool. That'd be three dollars. Oh, it's, it's, the, the back leg is broken. Okay, let's see. 25. That's not bad at all. They're like the other metal. Yeah, West Bend. West Bend, um, I know them for their like spun aluminum stuff more than their painted stuff. Look what I found. Right down here, we've got a little poodle family. Aren't those adorable? I already checked the price. I didn't look them over. They need to be wiped off. I'll wipe them off, but they're ten dollars, which is amazing. And they're Napco. The hair is a little bit screwy, but they're so cool. Wait, did I say? I don't know why I said Napco. It's Japan. It's just straight up Japan. But ten bucks. I can't. I have to. Here's an agate. Oh, and the deer. Oh, that's a good looking. Oh, the ear's been broken off. I just noticed. I really like those parrots, though, too. Let's see. I'll put this in the cart. That's very different. Let's put that in there. Put it right in there for $10. Okay, the parrots. They, I don't know who did them necessarily. $14 for that one. Okay, the agate is 15. That's missing the lid. So I just noticed this lithographic print right here and I was hoping it might be on like a pretty good deal because I don't know, it's mixed in with other things, but I looked at the price and it's $80, which is about where it's at on something like this. But that is a really pretty scene and the color is really nice. Adkinson Fox did a lot of these, but we have here written Fox dash, I actually don't know that last name, Ergelis. It's really pretty. There's a little blue striping on the frame as well. You know, I've always wondered where this stuff comes from. And I had an idea that like if you owned a, um, like a grocery store or something and you had expiring food, you can't really legally sell it, I don't think. But if you put it in a place like this where it's not tied to your business, I wonder, oh wow, those cupcakes are, cause I think it's like all expired. A dollar fifty. You're kidding. When does it expire? June of, June 1st of this year. Oh, that's such a good deal. $1.50, wow. Well, it's comfy. $3.50. I don't know how much it is normally. Probably like $100. So I ended up getting these. Never heard of them before. Sunmade Bites. Made with fruit, oats, and rice. A dollar. And they only are bad by like a month, so not that bad and they're yeah a dollar that's really good okay I found another booth full of food 
and they had Dots pretzels. $2.25. I feel like these are normally like, now I don't buy these ever because they're so expensive, but two pounds, my goodness. Th these are probably every bit of six or seven dollars new. And I don't know how expired they are, but it's fine. So let's see what else they've got. Um, sad clown. Oh, that's fun. Looks like something you'd get on a Mayan cruise. Eight dollars. My gosh, the whole last aisle is beds. That is crazy. There's tires up there, car tires. There's some glass in this booth. We'll take a look at that. But yeah, mattresses. So strange. Uh, we've got milk glass. We've got the green and the avocado green. We've got some little bit of ruby down there. We've got some clear, um, some amber, some more clear. Okay, don't think I see anything that I like. So let's keep going. Elephant. Oh, these look good. The mushrooms, they're like 1980s, 1970s crafted, $5. I don't think that's too bad actually. I'll pick those up. All right, so we're at our last stop for the day and this is, uh, what is it called? St. Vincent de Paul, I believe is the name and we are in Madisonville, Kentucky. So we're, this is obviously my first time here. We're gonna head inside and see what we can find. I've been kind of battling a little bit of a headache today. Uh, the sun, I've been driving a lot, so there's that. So we're gonna see what we can find regardless in this thrift store and hopefully we do well. So let's check it out. So I'd normally leave this out, but I decided to go ahead and film inside here anyway, just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when you can't really find anything. So I looked at the mugs. I couldn't really find any great mugs that I had to have, but this is essentially what it's like uh, living in the Midwest, even though we're about three hours away from home base, the stores here are, are just not, not very good. So as you can see, there's not a lot of variety. There's not a great amount of selection, even very old stuff. Uh, I want to show, show you a way, way. And yeah, here's an overview, which is, which is not much to pick from. All right, that wasn't too good, was it? So <laughs> I guess we're gonna wrap it up here. It's been a pretty exhausting day. Those are some large tires over there. Look at those tires, they're huge. All right, so I'm back at the hotel for the night and I still have head problems. I hear people out there. Oh my. Can you hear them? Wow, okay. <laughs> so, um, back at the hotel, like I said, and I still have head issues. It's just my eye, um, right, right above my eye, there's pain. But I went to a little um, antique store on the way and I found all of these great things. I did not film in there because I didn't know what to expect. and. I just, I don't know, I just, my head hurt so much. I, it was kind of like hard to do. Let's just put it that way. And it's even hard to think. But um, I picked up this here and it's known as a bride's basket. It is pretty old and it was only $25. So I picked it up. I thought it was a really great thing. All blown glass. There's the bottom of it. It's the clear. Bride's baskets were used to put, well, as far as I know, kind of like a bank, or not a bride's basket, it's called a bride's bank. And um, the bride's bank, you, would, you put money and stuff in it, money, gifts, stuff like that, at a wedding. Uh, you could also use it for flowers because it looks sort of like a flower frog, so it can kind of hold your flowers up nicely. But $25, I thought that was a really good price, so I picked that up and um, it's gonna do, I mean, that'll do really well. 25 is very low for that, I think. I picked this up. I just thought it was kind of fun. Great Smoky Mountains. And um, it's this kind of magnifying paperweight for five. I picked it up because I thought the price was really good. And you can actually swap this out with any kind of picture you want. I was looking at it and the, this peels back and you just put like a round picture in there, like an old postcard or whatever you have. So if you can, you can keep it as this or you can kind of swap it out, but it's this nice older thick glass. I, I like it. So I picked that up for $5. 
This owl was $3. It has the bulacante inside of it, all the little controlled bubbles. And it was $6. It's not pristine. There's like a little bit of a little divot there. I think on the front there's like a little thing, a little tiny blemish there. I couldn't help myself. I like the color so much and I like this thicker glass like that. So I picked up that owl. I got this for myself, I think. I don't know why I picked it up because it was $3 and well, the price was irrelevant, but I don't know why I got it for resale. I just thought it was really cool. So it has all of this like circus scenery on there with the hot air balloons. And I just think it's really fun. It's this old style circus or carnival. The graphics are fun on there. So uh, it says Spring Festival by Wooster, Wooster Scott, and it's from Franklin Mint. Now, of course, you can hang these up on the wall with like picture hanger or um, plate hangers, and that'll be really fun. But I'll see, I might hang, I might put this in the shop somewhere. Uh, I've got like a little flamingo area that I walk through, so that would look really nice there. I picked up this bird. This was a grand old four dollars, and I think that is a really good price for the blown glass bird. So I, I got that. And then lastly is this, and this is this is probably one of the better things I got, along with that bride's bank. There's these animals on here. I think lions, but it's this Victorian milk glass covered dish. The gold on here is so good, and five dollars. I mean, come on. This is uh, the older milk glass. It's mostly painted, it's hard to see that, but it's the older milk glass and it is just really cool. So I'm, I'm happy I got it for five. All in all, that was a really great stop. Before I went to that store, there was a Goodwill. I went to a Goodwill. <laughs> it was a bad will. I found nothing there. Um, I didn't even grab a card and it was busy and I didn't find anything um and then after Goodwill there was another place too it was uh Salvation Army also terrible <laughs> I didn't find anything at Salvation Army either um but all in all I did find some really great things today in a variety of places uh so hopefully you enjoyed that um and I'm gonna wrap it up here Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.